Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 18th of August 2021. So Ubisoft Singapore, who are the studio currently working on the game Skull and Bones, if we'll ever get it to be released at any point in the future, are being investigated by Singapore's Tripartite Alliance for Fair and Progressive Employment Practices. Say that three times. Now, basically, it's the same issue that we've seen time and time again in the last few days of another studio being investigated over these claims. Now, I won't linger on this story too much because we've spoken a lot about it the last few days, but simply a case of it's good that these things are happening in terms of people are speaking out about the harassment and discrimination they're facing in the workplace, simple as that. And the right bodies in each country seem to be taking an interest in investigating the claims. So, yeah, and we'll see what happens with this one as well. And I have said that that there have been ongoing allegations against Ubisoft for a while now at many studios. So, again, we will see what happens. Um, the next bit of news for today is a Activision Blizzard staff member has shared an email they received from a job recruiter basically saying that they're finding it harder to place candidates in jobs because the staff member is sharing articles about the issues going on at Blizzard without sharing what Blizzard is doing about the issues, if that makes sense. So, and they're basically saying that selling Activision Blizzard as a place to work is becoming harder for the recruiters. Now, there's two things to that. Number one, I'm, I'm proud of the staff member for sharing this um, uh, email they received because this sort of is kind of like a way of oppression but there's a second part to that as well um is that job recruiters from my experience speaking of someone who's worked in many jobs as a developer at times can be have no morals whatsoever and the reason i say that is simply think of them as vultures think of them as ambulance chasers all they want and their business model how they make money is placing a candidate in a job and they earn a commission. That's how they make their money. And basically, simply, they will do whatever they can to make money, simple as that. And that's why I said they're vultures. You know, they, they will just see any opportunity and go for it. And um, not as I said, not in all cases, like some recruiters I've met are actually really nice, but some of them are complete vultures, simple as that. And basically, this when I read this article, it didn't surprise me whatsoever, simple as that. So, and again, I'm pr proud that this um, employee has shared this because it's a case of this issue is still fresh. So to be so soon saying, um, trying to suppress it is in insanity to me. And then the last bit of news for today is apparently Square Enix have given zero royalties to People Can Fly, the developers behind Outriders. So that's an indication that Outriders has not broken even yet. They've not made any profits uh, from the launch. Now, I personally looked at Outriders upcoming to release. Um, I looked at the gameplay trailers. I looked at the live streams they did. I looked at um, some live streams from content creators who played the game. And after seeing all of that, I was sort of like, I'm just not interested to play it. And it seems within a week of the game coming out, people just stopped caring. People streamed it for like a week and that was it. Then it just became forgotten. So it's fair to say that as a live service game, this game flopped. You know, that, that that's my interpretation of that information. And now that Square Enix has paid them zero royalties, it means that they haven't made any money. Simple as that, because they probably spent the money on advertising, on developing the game, on fixing server issues and so on. And they made no profits whatsoever. So too bad. You know, simply they tried, they worked hard. I'm sure the developers behind the game worked really hard on the game, but it just didn't take. Simple as that. So, yeah, and I will never blame Square Enix for for that. Simple case of they put their faith um, in Outriders doing well. It didn't, and someone somewhere has to absorb the cost, and it probably is Square Enix in this situation. So yeah. So that's the gaming news for today. Thank you yet again for all the new followers coming onto the feed. And um, I wish the news I could report was more positive, but sometimes, you know, all the articles I'm reading are just negative, 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 negative. That's just the, the way that news can be sometimes. And also as well, I posted three new reels on my feed as well, so check them out. They're just funny Twitch clips I've got like in my library that I just wanted to share. So anyway, guys, that's it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.